Hi everyone and welcome back to Coding with Flutter. Today we are going to take a deep dive about slivers so that I can show you what they are and how to use them in different cases. And in this video we will focus on sliver up bar and sliver persistent header. So what is a sliver? A sliver is a portion of a custom scrollable area. And slivers are very useful if you need to place different kinds of widgets all inside a scrollable area. For example, in this page we have a list view followed by a grid view. And because they need to scroll together, they need to be defined with special sliver widgets that can be placed inside a custom scroll view. So the first thing that you need to know is that slivers should always be placed inside a custom scroll view and Flutter provides an extensive set of widgets that can be used as slivers. So for the rest of this video and the next ones, we are going to see what kind of slivers are available in Flutter and how to use them in different use cases. And we will also learn about some common errors that you may encounter if you use slivers incorrectly. Okay, so let's get started by talking about sliver up bar. And just like other slivers, sliver up bar scrolls along with the rest of the content. However, it stays anchored to the top of the screen when we try to over scroll. And just like a conventional up bar, you can use it to show leading, title and action widgets that will appear over here. But on top of that, it also has some interesting properties such as flexible space and expanded height. And you could use this together to define a bigger title that shrinks when we scroll down. Next, we can look at the pinned property. And we can set pinned to true if we want the sliver up bar to be pinned to the top when we scroll down, much like a standard up bar. And then we have the floating property. And this one is a bit more subtle. And when we set floating to true, then the up bar becomes visible as soon as the user scrolls up. And if we set floating to false, then the up bar only becomes visible after we scroll all the way to the top. By the way, one common mistake that some people make is to put an up bar inside the custom scroll view rather than a sliver up bar. And if you do this, you will get a runtime exception telling you that a render viewport expected a child of type render sliver but received a child of type render semantics annotations. And what this message is really telling us is that we cannot use standard widgets as slivers, but we should use their sliver equivalents instead. Okay, so this completes our overview of sliver up bar. Next, it's time to introduce sliver persistent header. And this is the widget that is used under the hood by sliver up bar in order to implement the shrinking and growing effect. So you can use this to implement your own custom persistent header. And this works by declaring a sliver persistent header, which also has pinned and floating properties. And then you need to provide a delegate, which is a custom class that implements sliver persistent header delegate. And when you create this class, you need to override a few properties, including min extent and max extent. And then you need to implement a special build method, which gives you some extra arguments and you can use the shrink offset argument to control how your UI looks depending on how much of the sliver has been shrunk. For example, in this case, I use a stack to arrange three different widgets. The first one is a background image. The second one is a linear gradient. And the third one is a text widget, which is positioned at the bottom of the sliver persistent header. And here I can choose the opacity of the text color depending on some function of the shrink offset so that when I scroll down then my text slowly fades away. And here I calculate the opacity of the title based on the shrink offset and the max extent of the sliver. But if you want, you can use the shrink offset in other interesting ways, for example by adding a parallax effect to the background image as the user scrolls, or you could have a more complex layout and choose to scale or fade out some widgets as the sliver shrinks. By the way, when you implement sliver persistent header delegate, you also need to override the should rebuild method and the snap configuration variable. So I encourage you to read the documentation for sliver persistent header delegate to find out about all these properties and how to use them. In summary, you can use sliver up bar as an alternative to up bar when you work with slivers. 
and if you need more control, you can use Sliver Persistent Header instead. And either way, you can decide if this should be pinned or floating. Ok, so that's all for today, and in the next video I will cover additional Sliver widgets. By the way, the source code for this demo is available on this page on GitHub, so feel free to download and try this, and I also encourage you to sign up on my website for more updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video where we will learn about additional Sliver widgets.